Hello everyone. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I'd like to talk to you today about this upcoming City of Fort Worth project. My name is Bradley Radovich and I'm one of the project managers in the Transportation and Public Works Department's Capital Delivery Team and I'll be the construction project manager for the upcoming Lake Como Phase 2 sidewalk project. This presentation was originally meant to be given at an in-person community meeting with the affected residents and other citizens who utilize this area. However, due to the city's response to the coronavirus outbreak, this presentation has been recorded in lieu of the actual meeting. This presentation is meant to provide you with a little information about the scope of this project that's happening in your neighborhood and, and give you a little bit of a heads up about what to expect with the upcoming construction. Here's an agenda of what I've hoped to cover today in my brief presentation. I'll be talking about the project as a whole, providing some background on the project, reviewing the scope of work, and providing you with information on the phasing and schedule of the construction. I'll also cover some frequently asked questions towards the end of the presentation. The location of this project was selected in order to complete a continuous walking route for Lake Como. The route started with phase one of Lake Como sidewalks that have now been constructed and will be completed with this phase of the sidewalks. The project scope includes installation of sidewalks and pedestrian curb ramps to improve safety and walkability for pedestrians. City of Fort Worth being one of the blue zone cities encourages our residents to walk by providing them safe walking facilities. The project is funded by the Fort Worth Neighborhood Services Group. An in-person meeting with the Neighborhood Advisory Committee was conducted for this project during the design phase on January 27th of this year. We were happy to meet the residents and discuss the project. This slide shows the project location and limits. The limits are Lake Como Drive at the termination of Phase 1 sidewalks, Lake Avenue to Merrick Street, and Merrick Street connecting to the other side of the Phase 1 sidewalks. The sidewalks will be in installed along the east side of Lake Como Road and the north side of Lock Avenue with a small section along the south side and on the west side of Merrick Street. The sidewalks will be made ADA accessible and include ADA compliant pedestrian curb ramps. There will be two major crossings that will have striping and advanced signage. During the design phase, the Neighborhood Advisory Council held a meeting on January 27, 2020 at the Lake Como Community Center. The attendees were given the opportunity to ask questions and share comments or concerns. We wanted to share a couple of the questions and responses that were discussed at that meeting. Can the sidewalk be switched to the west side of Merrick? Yes, the sidewalk layout was updated to be constructed on the west side to eliminate crossing locations across Merrick. Another question is, can sidewalk installation on Hervey and Lovell be included to create a continuous walking route? This question was taken under uh, advisement and, and in, incorporate, will be incorporated hopefully into future project and when that becomes, when funding becomes available. At the pro for the project schedule, we have completed the 60% design of the project and are currently working on the next step, which is 90%. Our goal is to have the final plans completed this fall. We'll be executing the construction con contract in early 2021 and are anticipating start of construction in the spring of 2021. The total cost of the construction for the sidewalks is approximately $250,000. The cost of construction will be finalized with the completion of the construction plans. The construction for this project will take approximately 120 days or four months. To maintain traffic flow and safety of the construction workers, this project will be constructed with portions of the existing roadways closed when necessary. It is not expected that construction will close a full lane of traffic and two-way traffic will be maintained at all times. The construction is planned to only take place during the daytime hours. Now I'd like to review some frequently asked questions again about sidewalk projects in general and this project. Typical width of a sidewalk is five feet, Fort Worth standard, when detached from the roadway curb and six feet when attached to the roadway curb. 
Where existing trees are located, the width may be reduced to four feet to preserve the tree and reduce the impacts to the roots. There will be several driveway reconstructions with this project, partial reconstructions. The contractor will provide advance notice for interruption to driveway access to the tenants or the owners, property owners. If an existing irrigation system or grass parkway is impacted by the construction, the contractor is required to repair the site to pre-construction conditions. If an irrigation system is within the limits of the improvements, the system will be adjusted by the contractor. The contractor is very experienced in, this, in these kind of projects throughout the city of Fort Worth. And it will be, I think you'll find him very amenable to these situations. So, and the contractor will have to keep some materials and equipment on site during the construction. However, the travel lanes will be reopened and the contractor is required to clean the work site every day prior to leaving. As we move forward with this project, I'd like to share my contact information with you in case you have any further questions. We will have another public meeting, hopefully after the COVID is over and definitely before the construction starts, where you'll be able to ask more questions in person, hopefully. We look forward to improving the infrastructure within the city of Fort Worth. So thank you for your time.